O Canada Conversations are a creation of IOM, made available under the Creative Commons 3.0 IGO. Please refer to the text of the audiobook for the copyright mark and the full legal code. Funded by Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada. Financé par Immigration, Refugees et Citoyenneté Canada. O Canada Conversations, Dialogue Number 19, Public Transportation in Canada. The following dialogue is related to Unit 9, Transportation, from the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. For more information, refer to the following unit of the Canadian Orientation Abroad Participant Workbook. 9.3. Using Public Transportation in Canada. In this dialogue, Obasi worries if his son Michael, who has a mobility impairment, can get around their new town because he uses a wheelchair. A government-funded organization counselor takes a public bus with Obasi and shows him that passengers like Michael can use public transportation in Canada. Today, we are going to take a ride on the public bus together. As your government-funded organization counselor, I would like to show you how to use public transportation to get around town. I also want to show you that even though your son Michael uses a wheelchair, you and he can still use public transportation to move around freely all over the city. But how will Michael get on the bus with a wheelchair if buses have steps? All cities and most towns in Canada have public transportation for people to use. And there are specially equipped buses for people with limited mobility. When the bus comes, I will show you how to get on. Okay. Do I need to buy a ticket? Yes. We will start with that. For public transportation in Canada, you either buy a ticket or buy a pass beforehand or pay with money when you get on the vehicle. Since I am over 65, I get a discount. For students and people over 65, many cities offer discounted public transportation. Obasi buys a bus ticket at the nearby ticket machine. I have a ticket. Great. Keep your proof of payment throughout your journey. Okay. Sometimes you will need to buy the ticket on the vehicle itself. For that, you will need the exact change when purchasing a ticket on public transport, because the driver does not handle cash and usually cannot provide change. I noticed that in Canada, when people wait for public transportation, they wait in a line. Yes, this is a common custom here. You and other passengers should form a line when waiting for public transportation. In your son's case, the driver will put out an accessibility ramp so he can get on the bus. Okay, here comes the bus. Let us get on. When getting on public transportation, let passengers exit before you get on. All right. Obasi and the government-funded organization counselor get on the bus. Welcome. Here is my ticket. Thank you. And here is my monthly pass. Great, thanks. Uh, please sit down or hang on to something. I'm about to start driving. Obasi and the government-funded organization counselor sit down and the bus keeps driving. Great, now that we are on the bus, it is good to keep track of what stop you have to get off at. When the bus is close to your stop, you can press this button here to tell the driver to stop. Okay. What stop do we have to get off at? We have to get off in five stops, so it will take us about eight minutes. See this screen here on the wall of the bus? Yes. That screen shows you what the next stops are. If you ever need help, you can ask the driver and stay near the front. Another thing to note, is the emergency indicators on public transportation. You can activate them if needed. What kind of emergency? If someone gets hurt or if there is a fire. I see. Obasi and the government-funded organization counselor keep riding the bus for five minutes. Okay, now we are two stops away. How nice. That young person over there just offered their seat to a pregnant woman. When using public transportation, it is typically expected that one will offer their seat to someone older than them, a person with a disability, a pregnant woman, 
or an adult with small children. I see. Are there many children who ride these buses? Is this how they get to school? It depends on the place, but school bus services are generally available for children who live a set distance from the school they attend. Other children may take public transportation to school. All right, ours is the next stop. Do you want to try pressing the stop button over there? All right. Obasi presses the stop button and the bus stops at the next stop. Great, let us get off the bus. Obasi and the government funded organization counselor get off the bus mm -hmm. and the bus drives off. So, how do you feel? Great. I am confident I will be able to do it myself next time. I think I can show Michael how to do this too. Great. End of dialogue unit.